Hey everybody, Mrs. Bianchi here. We're looking at number five and they're asking us to find the area of the parallelogram. Don't get, be confused by these dotted lines because this is just showing you some dimensions. And I think if I um, reconfigure or decompose this and show you what you can construct with the, um, the parts that you would use to decompose this, it might make more sense to you. Why are we multiplying the base times the height? Why does this formula work for area of a parallelogram? Now in class, we've talked quite a bit about how do you find the base, how do you find the height? Because the base is not always the number on the bottom. It can be really anywhere. What you wanna really look for first is you wanna look for this perpendicular symbol, that right angle. And it's almost like it's little arrows pointing at the numbers that you're gonna be needing. And if we look to see what number are we using here, we're gonna be using four as one of the numbers and you follow this dotted line and see what the other number is. And that means we're gonna be using 12. So I'm gonna substitute those into the formula. The base is 12 and the height is four. Now, why is five not the height? The reason why five is not the height, if you look at this angle, I'm just gonna trace the angle in blue. That's not a right angle, that's an acute angle. So therefore we cannot use it as the height. Now, if you're still confused about why this formula works, I just wanna show you something. If I take this chunk right here of this parallelogram, and uh, let, me, let me show you this box here. Let's show you the box. See the box, or the, I should say rectangle. See this rectangle? I'm just gonna move it over here, but I wanna show you something. So this piece that they show you in the dotted line, isn't that equivalent to this? So again, if I take that piece that used to be over here and I move it here, now it's inside the rectangle. Now, if I move this rectangle back, you can see that the length of that is 12. So let me show you that using a different technique. I'm gonna to try to trace, see this green line that I just drew. If that's 12, you know, this is 12, right? And if this is, if this is four right here, the whole thing, see, I can drag that along and it's perpendicular and it would represent the height regardless of where we put it. But if we put it in the rectangle, you know, if this is four, it's still gonna be four right here. So it's still 12 by four as a rectangle. This is just the thing decomposed, moving this little nugget over here to over here to form the rectangle. So all you have left to do is to just multiply 12 times four and recognize which number is the product of that and you'll be good to go with number five. 